we bought this house um, two weeks before Sandy hit. So when I heard about it, I was like, oh no, please don't let that hurricane come. It was devastating what we saw. It was heartbreaking. Everything, the smell, the mud, everything turned over. Everything was floating. Um, there was uh, mold growing up the walls. It, it was horrible. I said to my sister, I don't know what we're gonna do. We can't move the house. sister said, oh, a friend of mine raised her house and they, they put these things underneath. And I said, find out who did it. And she did. And I called the company and they told me that they could in fact lift the house and that helical piers could be put underneath. As a contractor, we recommend helical piers to homeowners, especially down the shore. There's, there's a lot of areas with a lot of bad soil and where, where the project doesn't permit for traditional wood pilings. Helical piles are the absolute way to go. I've had very positive results in using the helical piers in these instances because the other options are to destroy the house and build a new one. This actually allows you to save your existing house. The advantages to the helical piles are primarily strength. With each helical pile, you can get 40,000 pounds of capacity. That's a huge amount of load supported. And so the strength to cost ratio is huge. So you're saving money in the long run and getting a lot more strength for your money. The advantages of the helicals are that we can get into tight places. Um, we can work underneath the buildings. We can get inside of warehouses. We can fix homes that, that have support problems or cracked foundations. Not anyone can just become an installer. You have to have some experience and then you have to go through the training from Chance. As a homeowner, it was very important to me that South Jersey Helical was a certified installer. We're working with Autobahn Helical Piers out of South Jersey. They are a certified Chance installer. So using them definitely is, is a weight lifted off, off of our shoulders because we know that they're qualified. The first step would be that we would install the, the lead section and we're going to drive that down until it's flush with the ground. The, the second step would be to add extensions as needed, uh, constantly filling this with grout. On each extension we're going to add an uncased digger plate. As the pile drives down it's going to pull the grout forming a really nice grout column around the pile. With a traditional wood piling you know, it causes a lot of vibrations. It could crack foundations of surrounding houses. I've been here when they've driven pilings in, wooden pilings, uh, everything shakes. And this did not. Using the Chance Helical Piers, we, we've had 100% customer satisfaction and, and they are just so excited to, to be able to get into their house when it's completed. When you're done with your house, you have to have a survey, an elevation survey to um, let your flood insurance know exactly how high you are above your BFE, which is your base flood elevation. And when the gentleman did the survey, my house, the floor in my house is not off a hundredth of an inch on all four corners. So, I mean, I couldn't be happier. The shore has always been a part of our hearts and we just want to be a part of helping the homeowners get back into their homes. With all their help, uh, we're here now and I'm so happy that we're going to get these helical piers and be safe again. Mm -hmm.